Okay folks, so I'm going to tie a slight variation on Stan Headley's Clark Shrimp. The hook I have on the face is a size 10 Partridge Patriot Double. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is Uni Thread 80 in red. Now, I'm just going to come in and get the thread started. About 3mm behind the eye of the hook. I'm just going to run on a few turns of thread. And then come in and remove the waist tag of the thread. Now, you got to leave yourself space at the front because there's a wing, throat and hackle at the front so just make sure you leave yourself plenty of space. Now the tag on the fly is going to be a oval silver tinsel and this is an oval silver tinsel and small. Now I'm just going to come in get a few turns, get a cord in underneath the hook, bring your tinsel underneath the hook then. And just run your thread down, take turns, tying this in. And I'm just going to bring my thread down until I'm slightly past the point of the hook. And I'm just going to come around with four turns of the oval silver tinsel. And on my last turn, just come up and bring it in between the two hooks. Nice and tight. Just tie that in. I'm just going to come in from a way to access oval silver tinsel. Now the tail on the fly is a red bucktail. Nice bright red bucktail. So I'm just going to take a small pinch of the red bucktail and just trim it right close off, right tight into the, the skin. Now, any rubbish, just take this away. Now, I'm just going to try and line this up by hand. Or if you don't feel comfortable doing this, you can always stick it into your hair stagger. But it doesn't really need stack. Right. The length of the tail is entirely up to you. Right. I'm going to have it twice the length of the hook over the back. I'm going to come around with a pinch and loop. And I turn to hold. Right. What I'm going to do at this stage is just hold my tail. And then I'm going to bring the thread down, back down the shank, tied up against the oval silver tinsel tag. And then I'm just going to come in and take this away at a table cut. Now, I'm just going to put in two strands of this is UV micro flash. I'll just show you the hank. That's what what's left of it. That stuff there. So I'll just come up. Got two strands of this down either side, a couple of turns to secure, just fold back the flash, a couple of turns back over, and just come in and trim that away. Now, just moisten that for my next fly. Get these into position here. Just want them down each side. Just tie them in. enough for the length of those so I'm just going to come in up now with my thread tying in the cut ends of the bucktail. I'm just going to try and get this to stay on top. Tries to go around just bring it back. Right, the way back there again I'm just going to tie in some of the oval silver tinsel for the rib and small same stuff. Add in the way back down, just going to tie it in underneath again, keeping it underneath the shank of the hook. Just going to run this back down, tie it up against the tail. Now, I'm going to dub the body, and the dubbing that I'm using is a dark claret traditional Irish dubbing. It's out there. Okay, so I'm just going to come in. I just like to take small pinches of the dubbing at a time. Get dubbed on. I think it's easier to manage rather than knocking it on in one clump. So, yeah, we'll just get it started nice and tight at the back, and then we can start to tighten up. So we'll work our way up. Now, like I say, leave yourself plenty of room. At the front, so it's plenty of air, so just take away the excess. 
around with the turn anything it wants to go forward stroke it back come with a couple of turns of thread then we can bring our rib up making four turns of the oval silver tinsel to there file it right with your thread one turn to hold yeah a couple of turns just to secure that in just trim away the excess of the oval silver tinsel I'm just going to come in with some velcro to bring out some of the dubbing make sure your threads out of the way when you're doing this because you'll bust your thread of the velcro catches it all right just push some get this push back smack it all back okay that's looking down on now on stan's fly i think he used gray squirrel tail dyed red I don't have any grey squirrel tail dyed red, but I do have grey squirrel tail dyed claret. So I'm going to put this on for the wing and then some for the throat. Now I'm just looking a small pinch. I'm not looking to go crazy. Just a small pinch. I'll just remove this from the skin. Now I'm going to stack this. I'm just going to take away any rubbish from the bottom. The top, just put it into my hair stagger. I'm just going to give it a wrap on mature. There you go, all the tips have lined up for me. So I'm just going to take it out of the hair stagger. Get it measured up. Now, the length of the wing on the fly is up to you. I'm just going to have it coming slightly into the tail. So I'm just going to hold it there with my finger and thumb. Come in, just trim it away. Keep it as close to the shank of the hook as possible. Then just come around with your thread and do a pinch and loop. Then another, then a couple of tight turns, just to hold it in place for you. And you can see what way you're sitting. Okay, now I'm happy with that. But what I want to do is I'm just going to put on some super glue. The squirrel has a tendency to pull out or varnish. Up to you. It's a super glue that I'm using. Just put the wee lick on the thread. And then I'm just going to take this down over the cut ends. Right, I'm going to come back in with my UV crystal flash at this stage. Put on two strands there. A couple of turns. Fold that back. And just trim away the excess. I'm just going to bring the thread tight up against the wing. Right, they're a wee bit long for me, so I'm just going to come in and just knock the wee edges off those. Next part of the wing is a red golden pheasant tippet feather. So I'm just going to come in, select a smallish feather, and I'm just going to remove all the rubbish. It's on the feather that I don't need. Just take it away. Now, all I'm going to do here is just roll this between my fingers to stop it from falling out when I tie it in. So, just going to offer this up I like to see the two black bars so it's just slightly shorter than the wing just going to come around with a pinch and loop and a couple of turns just to hold it in place right. just maneuver it into position at this stage get it sitting the way you like okay now I'm happy with that I'm just going to come in with a couple of tight turns now then I'm going to come in and trim away the excess of the golden pheasant tippet feather and I'm just going to come down with my thread nice and tight over the top of these and then back up close to the wing now I'm going to just turn my vise round to put the under wing on or the throat, hat, the throat if you like same again the grey squirrel tail dyed clart right, not looking to go crazy just another wee tiny pinch remove it just take away all the rubbish at the bottom same with the tips get your hair stagger put it your hair stagger just give us a rattle bring it out there's the tips of all lined up for me and just take them out of the hair stagger right. I'm just going to have mine coming 
slightly past the oval silver tinsel tag. I'm just going to hold it there on my finger and thumb. I'm just going to come around with a pinching loop and then another and a couple of tight turns now. See if it moves, just bring it back into position and just hold it. You can take tight thread turns now at this stage. Then you can come in and remove the excess of the squirrel. Now, a good pair of sharp pair of scissors for this. Take that away. Now we've still got those wee cut ends, so I'm just going to come in with another wee like a super glue onto the thread. This just helps the fly just last a wee bit longer and the squirrel tail to stay in place for you. So just get the super glue down over the cut ends. Okay, and then just keeping your thread tight. Just bring your thread back up and tight up against your wing. Right. Front haggle can either be a hen haggle or in this case I'm just using a claret cock haggle. So stroke back the fibers to reveal the tip. Just going to come in catching the tip. I'm going to fold the tip back. Bring my thread turns back up over that tying that in. Nice and tight, come in and locate your tip, break it away. Right. Just going to come in with my scissors. Get the haggles to go back for me. Now I'm just looking one turn in front of the other. Now the turns are up to you. Sure fly. Come with two turns, three turns up to you. I usually put on three because that's my own personal preference. Like I say, it's up to you. You're tying the fly. So that's the third turn there. Now, just keep my haggle. Holding my haggle really tight underneath. I'm going to follow this round with my thread. And get a nice tight turn into the stem. Now, I'm just going to come in. I can't fold back that stem. It's too thick. So I'm just going to come in with my scissors and just nick that and take it away. Anything that's going forward. Just come in and get this stroke back. Just take your time. And then we can build up our head. Now if you really wanted to brighten the head up on this fly, you come in with some glow bright floss number three, but I think the red thread is sufficient enough. That's up to you. So I'm just building my head up at this point. There, right, I'm going to keep the thread tight. Just going to come in with my whip finishing tool. Just throw in a couple of turn whip finish. Just put the thread nice and tight. And then I'm just going to come in and trim away the thread. Right, just going to seal the head up. Just going to put on a wee touch of super glue. Just on the head. I'm not going anywhere else. So we touch on the head. Right the whole way right round. Then once that's dried, I'll just come in with a couple of coats of varnish just to seal the head up. Now that's the wee pattern there. It's to say it's a slight variation. I think Stalin and the original pattern used um, natural squirrel tail that dyed red or grey squirrel tail dyed red but I don't think it'll make much of a difference I think that wee fly there will still work with the, the grey squirrel tail dyed clard so look, give it a fly we go and hopefully it can catch you a few fish 